Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Take a look at these two figures. Which one do you like more? Obviously, the answer is very, very subjective. However, in general, a lot of people are going to prefer looking at this figure from a technical standpoint because it communicates the information more clearly. Let me give you a clearer example of this. How about these two? Do you like the one on the top or the one on the bottom? Irrespective of your preferences, you will agree that this figure, the one on the bottom, is a lot cleaner, it's a lot more visible than the one on the top. But you would also agree that a majority of the figures that we come across when we're studying literature, when we're looking at diagrams of technical nature, they look bland like this one over here. What's the reason for that? The reason is very simple. People who are spending their time doing technical work do not have sufficient spare time to learn the theory behind what is good, what is appealing visually. So once they're done with their technical work, they just try to put the ideas on paper in any way they can, and then they let it be. That is where this course comes in. In this course, we are going to discuss the concise recommendations that you can follow, which will help you make your technical figures look really good without having to spend time either understanding the theory behind the stuff or even having to figure out the choices that you have to make in order to make your figures look appealing. We are going to get rid of all the theory. We are going to get rid of all the ifs and buts. And I'm going to discuss with you certain case studies. And I'm going to explain to you the choices that you can start making right now without having to spend countless hours on learning the theory to make your figures look good. So here's the idea behind this course. We're not going to discuss the specific tools that you can use. I will give you a recommendation, but that's just going to be a recommendation. You can use any tool that you want. So you don't have to radically change the way you're doing your work right now. I'm going to give you an example of how you can give your component space to breathe so that they are easier to understand and comprehend for your audience. We're going to discuss the color schemes and a really, really like five second rule of applying colors that look really good literally five seconds. It's not going to take more than that. We're not going to jump into the theory of triads and complementary colors and all of that. You might have come across that if you're interested, but you will realize that that doesn't really work all that well unless you spend time on that. So we're not going to do that. We're going to talk about fonts and styles. And again, I'm going to give you concrete suggestions on what you can do to pick the right fonts. Again, no more than a minute, right? That is all it's going to take you. We're going to discuss the flight of the eye. This is going to take slightly more time, but by that I mean like 15 minutes per figure. So not more than that. We are going to take a look at different case studies and I'm going to explain with examples the choices that you should start making for creating visually appealing, nice looking figures without having to spend time learning the theory. I'm also going to give you a couple of personal recommendations that I've seen work really, really well. Things that you can do immediately without having to think about it. They're going to be mechanical. You pick this, you do this. That's all it's going to be. I'm going to share a checklist with you that you can go ahead and apply on each of your figures that you draw so that they come out really nice. A big disclaimer over here, this is not a tutorial on any particular tool. It's not a comprehensive reference. We're not trying to cover the theory behind all the choices that I discuss here. I'm just going to give you the final end goals, the things that you should be doing without discussing the pros and cons because there is a huge amount of material available on the internet that discusses the pros and cons, but unless you spend months on that, you're not going to understand those. It takes a lot of time and technical people simply do not have that time. So this course is designed around creating value in the minimum amount of time possible. So with that out of the way, let's get started with the course immediately by jumping into the concept of component alignment and spacing.